What's up everybody? It's your boy John Juan. Today is January 4th, 2014. And today what I want to do is I want to touch on racism. I'm trying to figure out where it is. <laughs> I say that because honestly, I just don't see it the way other motherfuckers online and you know, out here in the real world, how they scream that, you know, this person's racist and that person's racist. You know, I, I just don't see it. I mean, I read comments on, uh, on like, news stories. If you go to any, any news story online, you'll see a bunch of racist comments. But that's people that are hiding behind keyboards. I'm talking about people that are actually out there harming you through racism I really don't think I have uh, experienced racism the way people claim that it is out there um, I will say this coming up as a teenager um, I am 100% sure that police officers profiled me to death. I mean, I have the worst fucking driving record that you could possibly believe. Not now. I haven't had, I haven't even gotten a, a well, as a matter of fact, I got profiled last year. You know, I put that shit on, uh, on my blog. I got pulled over. I was in my old school. I was actually uh, riding around on Christmas Eve. And the officer pulls me over and says he couldn't see my plate, my personalized plate. You know, he said it was, it was, uh, it was obstructed from view or some bullshit that he came up with. Now, I'm paying extra money to have a personalized plate. Don't you think I would want people to see it? So, that was the last time I got, uh, I got profiled. But still, it's just, it, it's not the same racism that I hear motherfuckers walking around talking about uh, them having you know having to deal with prejudiced people and them getting denied shit you know I think it's all in people's heads and I get people mad at me when I say that you know what I'm saying but here I am in the south I'm in Georgia and there's supposed to be people walking around on every corner throwing out the N-word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People riding around with, with uh, Confederate flags and shit like that. You know, I haven't seen it. You know, and I, I drive up and down I-75. I go through Tennessee, and Kentucky. I stop off in little towns and all that shit. I just don't see the racism. Um... You know, I've got, uh, I've had my websites up for almost 13 years now. And just like I was telling you about the uh, religious uh, comments that I've gotten emails on, you know, I've never gotten comments that are racist. No one's ever <laughs> sent me an email saying, you know, you N-word or you, I've never gotten that. You know, the, wor the worst shit that I've ever gotten has been religious shit. And um, that says a lot. That makes you think, doesn't it? But uh, I don't know. I guess you kind of have to go back to, you know, your upbringing, your, your past to kind of, look at the mindset of your present um, I came up in a community that was literally half black and half white you know I mean at the time when I was coming up in the city I came up it was considered one of the most racially diverse cities in the uh, in the area I mean you had black folks you had white folks you had Arab folks, um, and if you looked at the population back then, it was like, 
you know, 25% black, 25% white, 25% um, other, you know, and the other consisted of, I, I guess, uh, in that area, there were Chaldean uh, people, which a lot of people know are Arab people that are of Catholic uh, religion from Iraq. You know, they, they were there. They were Asians, Indians, um, Hispanic slash Latino, you know, because I don't know. I mean, I, I just, I came up around everybody and everybody respected each other. And, you know, no one was going around saying these people are bad, those people are bad. You know, and as far as uh, dating, I've dated and I'm not talking about paying holes to, pull, to throw on my site. I'm not talking about <laughs> paying <laughs> 10, 20 dollars for some head. I've actually dated and had intimate relationships with every persuasion there is. You know, you name it, I've gone out and I've fucked. Um, you know, I, I haven't seen it. I, I, I don't, I've never been turned down because of my race. You know, I've never walked up to a bitch and said, and said hey, you know, can I get your number? She said, oh, I don't, I don't date black guys. I mean, I, as a matter of fact, it's actually easier for me to date bitches outside of my race than it is uh, for me to date black bitches. You know, it, it's like that. So, you know, where's the racism at? I mean, let's, I'm just trying to go over in my head all the different persu persuasions that I've uh, actually gone out with and, you know, gone to the movies or gone to concerts and shit like that with uh, Latina. Arab, Asian, white, like I said, everything, you know, everything. And I've never experienced any uh, animosity towards me being out holding hands with anyone uh, of a different persuasion than myself. Um, so, like I said, I just don't get racism. As a matter of fact, it seems to me that when I'm with... Um, somebody somebody that's uh other than black when i'm out on a date i don't get pulled over and stopped by the police <laughs> it's it's always me riding around <laughs> with a hood rat you know hood rat black bitch that uh gets me pulled over and gets me all fucked up in the game you know i can remember um a couple years ago now, when I went out to, uh, I think it was like 2006, I had gotten, I had gotten fired from a job, and I drove out to Los Angeles. I drove my Camaro that I had at the time out to L.A., and I can remember riding around with, uh, with some, uh, with a white bitch. I did it with a, with a black bitch, too, um. And uh, I think I did. I think I did a video of one of the black bitches. She was in the car, high, drunk, and uh, you know, same thing happened with the white. I'm riding around with this white bitch, and it's late. It's like I think it was probably like 1:32 in the morning. I'm riding around. I think we were in. I think we were in the in the valley or somewhere, and I'm like riding going to liquor stores and shit that were open, parking right next to police officers. And I thought for sure I was going to jail because when I went out, when I drove out west, I didn't even have a license. <laughs> My shit was so fucked up from, from being in Michigan that I didn't even have a license. But nobody fucked with me. Nobody fucked with me. There was no racism involved, you know? And... Same thing happens down here, down here in Georgia. I'm riding around and I pass by cops. I pass by the, the officers that they, you know, the ones, the state troopers that they say had a racist old ass Confederate, uh, <laughs> old Confederate uh, hats on their head. They don't fuck with me. 
the most I've been fucked with is up north. Up north by uh, profiling cops and actually even more so black cops up north. Black cops have fucked me over so many times. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just ridiculous. Not even black cops. Black supervisors. You know? Black management at companies that I have worked for. Those were the ones that have fucked me over. But then I guess you can, you know, you could say that, you know, it's all racism is hidden. It's there. It's just hidden. But, you know, I'm hearing stories from people down here in Georgia about their jobs, you know, being called the N-word on the job. You know? <laughs> you know, you talk to motherfuckers down here. Brothers will tell you everybody at the at their job, the ones that are working in factories and shit, it's all racism, you know? Everybody's prejudice. So, you know, I guess that goes back to, you know, the environment that you're used to. You know, if these motherfuckers are used to being around uh, people thinking racism is, is affecting them, if they think it affects them, you know, they get it in their mind that it's, you know, Whatever you think becomes your reality. If you think everybody's racist, then everybody is going to be racist. Um, I just didn't come up that way. You know, I came up um, thinking that I'm being given a fair shot. And, and I haven't given a fair shot. I haven't been denied any jobs that I've applied for because I'm black. I haven't been denied any housing because I'm black you know I've lived in apartment complexes and and you know all that shit that uh, in white areas and you know I've lived in apartment complexes in, in uh, Hispanic areas you know as a matter of fact when I was in uh, when I was in Miami a couple of years ago I was the only black motherfucker in the area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody else around me was Cuban. I'm living, you know, around a whole bunch of uh, Hispanic people. I didn't see any racism there, you know. But then again, when I venture off into uh, into the hood, everybody was like, you know, you stay over there with the uh, with white people or whatnot. So you know, I mean, I haven't. It was all good. I haven't seen any racism. So, you know, my thing is, where is the racism that people are talking about? Where is it at? All right. Talk to you later.